hey 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 welcome back to the channel hey we reacting to clubhouse tv man shout out clubhouse tv whack 100 the hunter side the whole clubhouse app that's affiliated with the hunter side the whole hunter side so what i need y'all to do is go subscribe to clubhouse tv subscribe to my channel like the video and comment below now we finna react to whack 100 pressing the code is lying and Letting everybody know how Rockstar is a snake. Yuck mouth, choppy teeth, crunch mouth. So, let's get into it. Scream all you want. Right? And you know what? I got kind hearted. The door. I got kind hearted. Got to call a whack. We got a job, Arizona. $1,500 a week. Nigga just driving the golf cart around. Beyonce, Drake, and whatever little concerts that we. I got a bunch of homes in Arizona. He called me crying, talking about he can't feed his kid. I called a nigga, you want the job? Yo, whack. I probably ain't got the credentials. <clears throat> you ain't need the credentials. I'm gonna tell him to get the job. Right? What? He blessed you with a job, man? You didn't need no credentials? Damn, bro. That's a blessing, bro. Bit him in the back. Right, gave the nigga the job. Yo, whack, appreciate it, homie. I ain't never made this kind of money. What I owe you, keep it, homie. Feed your daughter and whatever you need to do. Right? So when a nigga like that go to hollering and screaming, you can holler crip. You can holler whatever you want. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When business is involved, all the gang politics and the gang talk goes out the window. Once you do business with someone, it shouldn't matter what gang or cuz blood and all that that's just out the window feel me but to each his own i don't take you serious you came to my studio and asked me could you sleep on my couch and i told you i had to go that's crazy we went to your homeboy's restaurant your whack it'll be a good look if you can go with me to my homeboy food spot it's two in the morning right I said, you know what? Let me see what this nigga about. It's two in the morning. He say his homies got a little whatever the ghost kitchen. It don't sound right, but fuck it. If they own something, I need a I need a little exercise. I go over there. I only got a ghost kitchen. I ordered a bunch of shit. Me and my girl, and he ordered some shit. So I'm thinking the fact that Rockstar brought me over here, he at least. And they from the same hood, like, at least Rockstar get his shit for free, right? I'm a blessed nigga anyway. <laughs> nigga get the bill. I say, Rockstar, you play on my bill. I say, yo, he said, shit, whack, that nigga gotta pay. We don't fuck with cuz like that. Oh, from the looks of it, it looks like Rockstar was just trying to, he was a broke, he was broke. He was a broke nigga. And he was trying to get around whack because he knew whack had that chili baba. Feel me? So, from from what the looks of it, bro, it looks like Wack helped him out, and you know he probably gave him an ultimative and told him, you know, I'll look out for you if you look out for me. You feel me? I'm trying to push this paperwork, you know, that I got on Wooty Woo Woo Woo. We ain't gonna say no names, but I, I'm pretty sure y'all all know who I'm talking about. If you've been tuning in with what's been going on the last year or so, you feel me? And it seemed like Rockstar was scared to, uh, you know, follow up on his end of the deal. You feel me? So, whack like exposing him. You feel me? And probably the, you know, those people from that particular area. Feel me? Probably was getting on Rockstar, telling them like, nigga, you better not cover that shit, or nigga, on. you feel me? We gonna, yeah, you know how this street say too much, but y'all know. A little too much already. Internet. So. If you know, you know. <laughs> I look at him. He's like, whack, I'm tapped out. I pay for his food. <laughs> Nigga, you, I don't take you serious. Just because you hollering because of blood, GD, ED, any other alphabet. Don't make you that, Nigga. When you done stood in front of me and had to drop your head, right? 
Mm-hmm. Don't come on this shit hollering and screaming at me, bro. Because we know your truth. We both know your, your whack. You got any other gigs? You know, I just need some gas money for the week because, you know, my girl been tripping. I said, you know what, bro? I got ownership in a car lot down there. Toyota over there off to the, in Arizona. They got a, a, a car show today. They got some security budgets. They paying $50 an hour for like eight hours. Bro, you want it? Go ahead. Go get it. He go down there. Go on down. Just stand there in all black. Ain't nothing going to happen anyway. It's a bunch of white people. You can't come back on this platform hollering and screaming with me, bro. I, nigga. I said it. So, it looks like the Crips got a hold of Rockstar, man. And they told him, man, what you doing dealing with this red rag? You know how shit go. Feel me? If you know, you know. And, uh, Whack wasn't feeling that shit, bro. He like, man, what's up with you, like, nigga? I just looked out for your ass, nigga. You feel me? And you gonna hear popping it. And nigga, he did what he was supposed to do. He laid it. He playing chess. This shit, chess, not checkers. Feel me? If you know, you know. So, with that being said, Rockstar Snake and the pussy at the same time, straight bitch. Because you let some other niggas tell you how to do business. Business, not gang banging. Business, and he probably looked at it like you know, whack name is a uh, very well known on the YouTube streets. You know, like that's probably like one of the top search names on YouTube within this since since last year. So he probably thought that he was a uh, <clears throat> gonna win, and what I mean by win, I'm not talking about win the battle. Win as in blow up by dissing whack, I guess. I don't know. But you can't diss somebody you was dick riding not too long ago. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, Rockstar, you's a bitch. You pussy. You let some niggas that ain't even from your hood politic around you and tell you how to do business. You's a bitch. Shout out whack 100, man. Looking out for these niggas. Look. <clears throat> y'all niggas hate bro so much. The niggas a dime move. He looking out for all these crips and what they do? Turn they back on him, gang. You doing the same shit the dime moves was doing to bro. So what you expect him to do? He gonna go to war. <clears throat> so, use a bitch and I'm gonna say it again. I don't wanna hear it. So, all that is is them paying attention to our content. Your name been part of the content. Right, and all of yeah, a sudden man. they gonna spend a motherfucking their day. Nobody ties you. You don't even know. I, I, I said that. I said I don't even know y'all. I said I came in this room because I saw my homie in here. I'm like, how do I even get mixed up in some shit? I said, bro, I didn't even know Wack was gonna post that. I, I'm not even understanding why I'm even. You not even. You, you ain't got nothing <laughs> to do with that. Sorry, man. Hey, Wack, Wack, is it anybody that you help that you don't come online with? Just a question. Like nigga, every time I hear you, I like I help know, this person. I don't even know you. He wants to be helped by whack. Them type of niggas, they're not even men. Little kids, they little boys, men bodies. He's worried about what whack did for the next man. <laughs> what y'all think? Let me know below. You bro, it don't matter if you know any that's just nigga, a any you nigga that I help that you, you come on here and start hollering and screaming like you wasn't in front of me, like a little kid begging me for help. Yeah, I'm gonna remind you, nigga, because you came on here hollering and screaming in front of everybody, right? Now, whoever you are, you watch me, I don't watch you. Whatever I do is what I do as a member, stand on it. But if you bring your ass on this app, Hollering and screaming, knowing you just stood in front of me with your head down, begging. Oh yeah, I'm gonna remind you who you are in front of the people you hollering and screaming with. <clears throat> For all you people that's uh, not hip to this lingo, this California lingo. Basically, what he just said is, 
when he said you can't stand in front of me with your head down and then come on the app screaming at me. Basically, what he's saying is you can't go to bro with your head down like, man, I'm my daughter, man. Or whatever the situation is, like, man, I need some help, man. I, man, you, got, you ain't got no more job. Can't do that. And then when you get what you need, get on the internet and bash, bro. Basically what he's saying. And I agree with him on that because you're a snake, bro. You do it to one, you do it once, you'll do it again. So right now, in my book, Rockstar, yo Crippin has an F. Cause you did the most goofiest shit ever, bro. You had ties with a multi-millionaire, right? Hundreds of millionaire. He got hundreds of millions. And he helped you out, right? And you got mad and scared because the Crips pressed up on you and told you don't cover that big you shit. All this and that. You know, content is content, bro. Push the content, bro. It's a job. Feel me? You was, you was on this floor. You got a little notarized. And then you start popping it about, bro, because you got big headed. So, <clears throat> use a bitch. And we're going to finish this video. Exchange no robbery, right? It's a whole lot of people I didn't help. Y'all don't know nothing about because they keep it respectful. Disrespect, bring exposure. Respect, bring respect. It's a whole lot of people on this that I didn't did all kind of shit from from nigga uh kids school clothes to shoes to food to whatever that don't nobody know because they keep it respectful but you ain't finna come on here like you just wasn't sitting there with your hands in your pocket sniveling with snot coming out your nose cuz whack man i do anything whatever bro i just want to be on your team because this ain't working my nigga like you know you winning could you help me or whatever bro i sweep the floors and then come over here get yeah, cuz like i'm saying cuz nigga oh hood no i'm gonna expose you yeah i'm gonna expose you that's whack ways and methods whoever you are i don't know you whatever your ways and methods are they work for you let your shit work for you but I'm going to let a nigga know, you come to me for favor, and I give you favor at the kindness of my heart, nigga, and you want to double back as if you something more than what we know you is, I'm going to expose you. Y'all, I just... Chess is not checkers. Chess is not checkers. Just did it to him. You know you was asked... Yo, whack, could you clear this song? I did what your artist, bro. I appreciate it, bro. And, and like, if you can give me this, 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 and that, and then I listen to you over here in the room or with all this other shit, I'm going to expose you. Yeah, you right, Mimi. I sat on that shit for a month. I That's see what it. I say. I say, see, these niggas want me to respond when you put my name in the title. No, little guy. You're on a platform that I help create and build what it is today. I know what to do, what not to do. I know what will help you and what will cripple you. I know how to move the motherfucking bar. So the day you put me up there, you want me to come over there to drive the shit over there to give you the content. Nigga, you ain't going to hear from me for a month. You're going to wake up to it. That's how it was with Big Chuck. We had, we thought everything was smooth. We go to the trenches to chill. We like, hold on. We thought the shit was slow. I was like, yeah, hey, like man. nigga, like you yeah, know, that's what nigga, I said. like nigga, like everything's the art of war with me. Everything. I don't give a fuck what it is, nigga. Everything. I, nigga ain't now, nigga. I'ma deal with in front of me to think that nigga. Every friend is a potential enemy. Every friend is a potential enemy. Cause you standing in front of me one way today and you ain't gonna be another tomorrow so yeah nigga i'm gonna I'm make sure i'm mounted up if it's good it's good if it ain't nigga i'm fighting back immediately don't ever think i ain't ready don't ever think i'm slow don't ever think that i'm that cool nigga that i'm thinking you might not be cool one day i don't give a fuck who you is mama daddy sister brother i don't give a fuck so whoever you may be, I've been living this 46 years this way. 
I've been quite successful at it. Do mm. yours your way. You may not agree. That's cool. I don't know you. You don't know me. Our, our roles don't cross any motherfucking way. But what I do know is you listening to me. You paying attention because you saying I always, always. But I can't tell you one I owed about you, brother. So I must be doing in too deep, man. All the, all the people out there, man, if you come across this video and you get to this point, I just want you to know, don't get in too deep on this, man. Continue your life, man. Stay healthy. Wake up in the morning. Brush your teeth. Feel me? Wash your face. Kiss your girl. Whatever you, however y'all do. No? Do something, man. Do something positive, man. Don't worry about what the next person is doing. Trust me. Everyone has their day. Everyone gonna have their time, man. So that's the word for the day, man. Just, you know, focus on yourself, man. Take care of yourself. Health is well. And with that being said, man, you ain't subscribed. Make sure you subscribe. If you ain't, comment down below. Already comment down below, man. Like the video.